Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a collection video. Now, I know when I first started out on YouTube I did a collection video showing my entire collection. So I figured I'd do another one to uh, bring things up to date because obviously I've got quite a few games since then. And you probably don't want to have to be looking through all my pickups videos to see what I've got. And I've been getting a bit lazy lately. Um, I haven't done as many pickup videos as I used to. So. So uh, I think I'll just bring things up to date. I'm actually going to do them in separate parts for each uh, manufacturer. So Sega, Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft. So it's easier to find games if you want to know if I've got them. So you don't have to look for a huge video. So, so uh, And if you see any uh, games in these collection videos that you'd like me to do a review of, uh, let me know and I'd be, I'd be more than happy to do a review. I'm always open to requests. But. So uh, I'm going to be starting off with doing my Sega collection. Now I own a Mega Drive and a Dreamcast and I also own a Master System Converter which you can use to play Master System games on the Mega Drive. So I'm going to be starting off by showing my three Master System games, then my Mega Drive games and then my Dreamcast games. So, firstly, for the Master System, Afterburner, an Enduro Racer, and the Ninja, which is like an action adventure game. It's quite hard. And, um, now, the Mega Drive games, I've got quite a lot of these. I think this is probably the biggest collection of games I've got on a, on a system. So uh, my first Mega Drive game is Andre Agassi Tennis, Arcade Classics, which has Centipede, Pong, and Missile Command. I did a review of this. Next up, Atomic Runner. That's a side scroller. As is Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Next up is a pinball game, Crew Ball. And Desert Strike, it's a strategy based shoot 'em up. So you can't just go in all guns blazing, you've got to think about who you get an attack and that. It's a bit more complex and quite a lot of shooter maps. Next up, Earthworm Jim 2. Echo the Dolphin, which is kind of a, a puzzle slash adventure game. It's quite unique. Um, and there's also Echo the Dolphin. Uh, Echo the Tides of Time, which is the sequel to Echo the Dolphin, I believe. Next up, Eternal Champions. That's a fighting game. FIFA 97. And FIFA International Soccer. I'm not much into sports games, particularly older ones, but... Uh, I got a. I think I got them when I got Mega Drive. I wouldn't have bought them otherwise, but but they're okay to have, I guess. Next up, Fire Shark, which is a shoot 'em up. I'd highly recommend this game. It's awesome. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, side scroller. Yeah, there's a lot of side scrollers on the Mega Drive. It's probably a strong. Genre, and that's good because I like side scrolling action adventure games and platformers. Next up is another game in the Strike series, Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. Kawasaki Superbikes, which is a racing game. It's okay, I guess. Not one of my favourite games. Next up is Lotus 2 RECS. It has a track designer, I believe. 
I think that's what the RECS stands for Waste Environment Construction System Another racing game, Lotus Turbo Challenge uh, This was the prequel to Lotus 2 Mega Bomberman I just picked up this game uh, yesterday, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. It's quite a rare game now, Michael Jackson died. Uh, quite expensive, I should say, but, but I got it for 5 99 so I'm pretty pleased with that. This It's a side scroller starring Michael Jackson, based around the movie, but I think it's quite loosely based on the movie. Next up, Mega Games 1, or I. This has Super Hang On columns, both of which I've reviewed, and World Cup Italia 90. Next, Mega Games 6. Um, this is the three games that are on Mega Games I or 1, and it also has Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and The Revenge of Shinobi. It's a really good taste of what the Mega Drive has to offer. A lot of good games from there. Mickey Mania Micro Machines Turbo Tournament which is a top down racing game I've never been a fan of top down racing games I always get confused what way to turn yeah. but uh, yeah it's a pretty good game next up Mortal Kombat 2 a fighting game I'm not sure I like it as much as the Street Fighter series, but it's okay. Next up is Road Rash 2. This is the uh, console classics edition, so it's like a re-release I believe. Um, there was the regular edition, but this was a pound cheaper, so I thought I'll go for this one because, you know, I'm not really a collector. Next up is an awesome game. Rocket Knight Adventures. It's a side scroller uh, action adventure game. Uh, it's got a really creative level design. I'd highly recommend it. Um, Skitune, which is like a skateboarding roller skating game, I think. And you like cling onto cars and then you have to hit other races. kind of like Road Rash 2 because you can attack other races but obviously you're on skateboards uh, next up Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball um, it's a pinball game featuring Sonic the Hedgehog next Sonic 3D uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of this compared to the uh, 2D games I'm not so keen on it, but it's still okay. Maybe I should re revisit it. Uh, next, Sonic the Hedgehog, the original. and It's a brilliant game. One of the best games in the Sonic series, in my opinion. And the sequel, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is also a great game. Next up, Splatterhouse 2, another side scroller. Steel Talons, which is like a, a 3D uh, flight simulator with polygon graphics, and as you can imagine, it doesn't look very good considering the Mega Drive wasn't really designed for polygon graphics. Next up, Street Fighter 2, Special Championship Edition. Um, it's a solid fighting game. I'm sure if you like fighting games, you probably played Street Fighter 2 or a version of it. Street Racer, uh, which is kind of a Mario Kart clone, but it has got some nice features such as like a football match using cars. So it's not a complete clone, but it does feel a lot like Mario Kart in the races. Uh, 
except not quite as good. Super Street Fighter 2. Um, it's, there's been a lot of different versions of Street Fighter 2 release. It's a pretty good version. If you like fighting games, you'll probably like it. Next up, Tasmania. This is actually a Genesis game, but it does work on the Mega Drive. Certain Mega Drive games work on the uh, Genesis and vice versa, I believe, but some don't. So you might want to check the region com uh, region locking on the games before you're buying them. Next up, Thunder Force 4. Side scroller, uh, side scrolling shooter map. Quite fun, but I wasn't very good at it. I think I'm better at uh, top-down shooter maps. Next up, Toe Jam and L. I haven't really played this one that much. And Toe Jam and L in Panic on Funkatron. Toki going ape spit yes I said spit not anything else but I think it might be meant to sound like somebody else um, Winter Olympics Lillehammer 94 not a huge fan of this game like I said before I'm not too keen on sports games and here's another sports game World Cup USA 94, a football or soccer game. World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. I haven't really played that much of uh, that game either. And Zombies, which is known as a uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors in the US. I don't know why they took it off. Perhaps they thought we might actually go and eat our neighbours because, you know, maybe us Europeans are more sensitive to that, to that kind of thing. I don't know. But anyway, so those are all my Mega Drive games. Uh, now, on to my Dreamcast games. I haven't got as many Dreamcast games as Mega Drive games, but I've still got a few. F1 World Grand Prix. Uh, the controls are kind of jerky, I, I suppose that's to be expected for an F1 game because they're kind of hard to control in real life I'd imagine. I got it for 99p so I can't really complain. F355 Challenge, uh, it's another racing simulation game, obviously the only uh, car you're going to get in this game is the Ferrari F355. So if you hate Ferraris, you probably won't want to get this. But uh, and obviously it hasn't got the same car collection aspects as games like Forza 3 or Gran Turismo 5. But it's still a solid racing game. It's quite challenging because it handles fairly realistically, I believe. Giga Wing, which is a bullet hell shooter map, and um, it pushes the Dreamcast to its max. As it says on the back, the Dreamcast's capabilities are pushed to the limit as the screen is filled with enemy vehicles, aircrafts, bombs and bullets, all running at a super smooth 60, 60 frames per second. And I'd highly recommend it if you like shooting maps, though I believe it might be a little pricey. Uh, next up, Lee Man's Le Mans 24 Hours uh, Ultimate Endurance Challenge. And you can actually play for 24 hours, do the 24 hour race. You don't have to do it in one sitting, you can save when you're a pit. So you don't have to sit there for 24 hours. I don't think anyone would be able to do that. Fantasy Star Online, um, which is an RPG, and it's got great graphics and sound. And it's a fun game. I, I'd recommend it if you like RPGs. Sega Rally 2 or Sega Rally Championship. Um, 
This is a rally racing game, it's more arcade style than some of the other racing games I've mentioned. But still, a lot of fun. Next up is Sonic Adventure. A uh, 3D uh, platformer. Um, it's one of the best in the uh, 3D Sonic series anyway. I'm not sure I like it as much as the 2D games, but they're better than some of the uh, later 3D Sonic games. And Sonic Adventure 2 is also a very good game. And last but not really least, well kind of least, because it's not too great a game, but anyway, uh, it's Wacky Races. Uh, it features the characters from the cartoon series, so like Dick Dastardly and Penelope Pitstop and that. If you like the series, you might like it, but really it's not all that fun. It's definitely a Mario Kart clone, in my opinion, and the level design isn't quite as creative, well, track design, I should say. But anyway, so that's my uh, Sega collection. Uh, next video, I'll probably do my Nintendo collection, and like I said before, if you've seen any uh, games in this video that you'd like to see reviewed let me know either in a PM or on in the comment section and I'd be more than happy to do a review if you want me to and uh, as always uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching and I'll put up another video soon bye